Not a pretty day for the Oklahoma State Cowboys. You know, last week, uh, Pittsburgh and their head coach, Pat Narduzzi, talked about a bad day at the office. This was a bad day at the office for the Cowboys as they get beat by TCU, knocked from the ranks of the unbeaten. All right. Can Oklahoma State still win the Big 12? Yes. Could they still make the college football playoff? Yes. Will it be easy? Absolutely not. There is no margin for error anymore. That said, I was really kind of engaged with something my broadcast partner on the Cowboy Network, John Holcomb, said. He called the game at the end enlightening. I thought, enlightening? Well, that's a funny word. I would call it disappointing. And I can tell you from some of the reaction behind the Cowboy bench by fans, they were really disappointed. But I, I understood when John explained it. This team is not a finished product. We thought after three games it might be. We got lulled into a false sense of security. And now if this Cowboy team is going to recover and get to the point they'd like to get, they're going to have to tackle better on defense. They're going to have to get off the field on defense, on third downs. They're going to have to quit making mistakes. Special teams are going to have to clean up a bunch. Special teams and turnovers will kill a football team, and it certainly killed Oklahoma State against TCU in their Big 12 conference opener. The offense, because of a lot of, lot of situations, was not able to do what it normally does. And there are going to be games where they won't be able to do that in the future. And they're still going to have to find a way to complement a defense that might be struggling and eke out wins. Cowboys came close in the second half. They kept battling, had a chance. But I think John Holcomb's right. I think this game's enlightening. And the Cowboys have two choices this week. They can either watch the tape, understand their problems and their areas where they need to improve and get better, or they can ignore those. If they ignore them, they'll have a decent season, eight, nine wins, get to a bowl game. If they take this, t uh, this tape, this film, and they improve in those areas, then they still might have a chance. So you tell me there's a chance. Yeah, there still is, but it is bleak, and this will be a tough week in Stillwater before the Cowboys head to Lubbock to play Texas Tech. That's what happens when you're ranked sixth in the country and you get blown out on your home field in your Big 12 conference opener. This was not really a, a, a true blowout, but at times it felt that way. Maybe that's also something John meant by enlightening. Let's see if the Cowboys improve and move on down the road. For Go Pokes and Scout, I'm Robert Allen.